this is the beginning of something. Mm-hmm. Would you like to explain why? I'll explain that in a minute. All right. First off, you might want to show people... Actually, we'll show people where we are uh, after this, because it is the main mistake of this particular dish. So listen to that, so... It's like ASMR if we weren't talking so loudly. <laughs> <clears throat> Not actually, well, that was loud. But yeah, my voice is. That's what editing is for. Yeah. Have you learned how to remove audio peaks? Mm, I, I know how to. I don't usually do it. Cause you I might need to. I have to pull it into Audacity. Yeah. That's how you usually do it. Yeah, it'll be a bit of effort to remove the audio and throw it in there and throw it back in. Okay. Now, if you eat a stale chicken. Did you throw in both bags of vegetables or? Nope, just one. All right. This little tin should be in there, the tin. This little thing should be enough. Or two. Two, uh, hmm? two of these. Oh yeah. Uh, one of these makes two of these. Well, there's one very important ingredient. If we were making this tra- the traditional way. Eh. Root beer. Yes, but because we don't have any salt with us to uh, cut down the sweet and bring out the other flavors in the root beer. We are doing something better. We're adding a different flavor. Whiskey. And bringing out the sort of smoky flavor in the meat. That's why we went with a minimalistic vegetable uh, combination, which is just onions, green and red bell peppers, and... That's about it. Well, I think there's supposed to be a green onion in this as well, but I don't know. Uh, No, it's celery. And these are literally things you can pick up at local Walmart. Very simple, very easy to make. Literally just kind of a heated up sort of thing. And this will take a it'll take a couple minutes to cook down. Uh, what you want to get is all the liquid that's in there. You want to get that out about halfway through it. Uh, well, boiling off underneath here. We're going to add about a shot of whiskey as well. And then let it all cook out, cook down. After a good stir. And we're using relatively cheap whiskey, getting bean devil's cup. Not their cheapest, but not the best. Something I picked up last year. Yep. Uh, a little more in a shot. Probably about a double. Unfortunately, you can't give it a second shot. <laughs> okay. This is where we have to pull back off the heat because if it gets too hot, it can ignite. Keep it moving. Ooh, you can smell that. Oh, <clears throat> God, yeah. Oh, that is potent. <laughs> It's actually the alcohol vaporizer. Mm, yeah, I can smell it. You're going to be able to feel it a little bit, too. I feel like I can. Yeah, it's not going to be enough to get you. Well, I, I can taste really it. It's going to be sort of a... It'll make your tongue go a little weird. I can taste it. It's very, like, numbing. And you notice I'm kind of breaking down the chicken a little bit. You're not supposed to have a really large pieces. So, as I stir, just kind of... 
tamp on a little. Now this will take a fair bit of time to cook down. Uh, you want as little actual uh, liquid in it as possible. And the reason for that is uh, the fajita seasoning on the chicken, or the seasoning on the chicken, uh, when you added it and added any liquid to it, it pulled the seasoning off and it's essentially <coughs> seasoning the vegetables with it. Uh, normally we would use root beer to bring out the sweet in any other vegetables we wanted to add, like maybe squash, uh, and then use salt to temper it down back to a kind of a nice umami flavor. This isn't so much breaking them apart as it just makes them a bit softer. And this, is, this is pre cooked chicken, so it is going to be a little overcooked. <clears throat> so, it's a thing. Hey, these actually, we don't have it right now, but uh, these go really, really good as just you know, normal fajita. And normal fajitas. I wouldn't mind picking up some flour stuff. That's important, that's important, that's important to use. Yeah, we do have enough to make another batch, so next time we go down to Walmart, we'll pick up some flour tortillas. Okay, so we're getting down to just a little bit of liquid now. about as dry as we're going to get it. You don't want it to be like burning. Eh, wrong direction. You want it to be kind of dry, but still you know, a little bit to it. So. it smells really good. And now we get some our plates. Enjoy. Should we show the environment? Yeah. For the record, eh, this particular food's namesake is bathroom chicken. The reason for this is... Uh, there's the toilet. There's the shower. There's we're, the sink you could probably already see. Yeah. And we're at a con. And very specifically, we're in a hotel. The only room that we can you know, safely do this in is uh, the bathroom because steam, heat, uh, you don't want to set off any alarms. Uh, but yeah, if you need to cook at a con or you want to cook at a con, uh, do not use a gas or open flame uh, stove hot top or anything. This is actually an electric. Uh, very simple, very cheap. You can get them at just about any uh, convenience store for about 10, 15 bucks. Uh, do not get any of the ones that go super high. This one caps out at 400, and that's more just for boiling water. Um, aside from that, though, let's go nom. Let's go nom.